Hey guys, 65 here. I was gonna go over and show you guys a little bit about relays, how to, what they are, what they do, how to fix them, how to repair them. Yeah, they are repairable. Um, it's a good thing to know when especially some of them are um, hundreds of dollars, but let me show you what I got here. Okay, we have a typical engine relay box slash fuse box. I have a fan relay right here that's not working. It's not kicking on the fan. Um, the first thing I'm gonna wanna check is to make sure the fuse is good. Make sure that's good. Um, next thing will be the relay. Uh, you know a relay is serviceable when it clicks. Um, the relay, the key is on. Um, this one kicks on when the AC is, you know, your fan should always kick on when your AC compressor's on. The AC's on, um, the engine's off, but it should still be powering, energizing this. And the way I can tell that is if it clicks. Um, so if I unplug it, and then go to plug it back in, you can hear it click. That means the primary circuit of the relay is working. It's energizing it, you know, it's switching. Um, so the secondary circuit of the relay, which actually turns the fan on, is not working. So we need to diagnose why. Um, this could be working just fine, perfectly, and maybe your fan is actually burnt out. But so the next thing I would check is make sure your fan is actually getting power. And one way to do that is to, um, don't put your fingers in the blade, but actually to unplug the fan and feed it positive and negative. I actually know which um, ports on here actually feed it positive, that these two ports, this one has power and it feeds power over to here, and these two right here switch the power and allow the power. Anyway, I'll go more into that in a minute, but, so if I connect these two, my fan works. You can hear it kicking on. Fan works just fine, relay does not, so let's go over the relay. What exactly is a relay? Uh, a relay will generally, the most basic relay will have, is just a switch, and it'll have four ports, you know? It'll have, um, you'll have a box, say you'll have a little, little box with one, two, three, and back there, four ports. If you looked at the bottom, you know, it might look something like that, where you got four um, spade connectors coming out of coming out of the bottom. Okay, that is a standard relay. Um, and what it does, the basic idea behind a relay, is to be able to use your computer or something with um, small delicate electronics to operate, um, or a small switch to operate a power-hungry device. So, what that means is. You have your four ports here, okay? Generally, this is just a gate passing power to. Um, the most common thing is something, let's use an old round um, headlight beam. Now, uh, we'll just put two terminals on there. Um, then let's put a big battery over here. Here's your car battery, there's positive. There's negative. Generally, you know, here's the frame of your car. Generally, the ground wire will come over and it'll bolt to the frame. Um, right here, generally, same with the headlight switch. Somewhere, it'll bolt to the same frame, the same, you know, metal, ugh, stuck, metal frame. Okay? So there's the negative supplied, the negative supplied to your headlight. Okay? Now, we're gonna have battery power going, or the other for the light, you know, the positive feed for the light coming over and connecting to one terminal on the bottom. And then we're gonna have um, a couple different wires coming off the positive, feeding different things, but one will come off and it'll feed this port right next to it. But right now, those are not connected, okay? Now by taking this into the vehicle, going through the vehicle's computer system. It's, it, it's an old computer system, but anyway, um, by going through the computer, computer system, small electronic pulses can go down and trigger a switch here. This side right here also comes down 
goes to ground. So this right here is a circuit. So by supplying power from a switch to here, switches these and connects these. So power, so a large cable that feeds a ton of amps will flow power through and flow power to your light. Now that allows you to operate um, with a small main device, operate a ton of larger devices without shorting out or having to build this so big and so beefy and then having to run all your huge wires into the compartment of the vehicle and then back out your looms would be much bigger the relay is just a simpler way to do it so most people when you get a bad relay you throw it away sometimes i've had to cut around here with a uh, with a hacksaw and stuff because they'll plastic weld it but this is the basics of a relay. And what you have is an electromagnet, which is all these little wires wrapped around a metal core. So this is the small amount of electricity. When a small amount of electricity gets applied to these, it turns this into electromagnet and pulls this metal plate right here, pulls it in and connects two contacts that are actually really hard to see are actually hidden in there. I'm going to connect, and it actually doesn't really matter. One side's touching the negative, I'm going to touch the other side to the positive, and you'll hear the click. Okay? Now I'll turn you around so you can see what's happening without hitting the. This one connects into there. This is what this looks like inside. You have this big roll of wire. One port comes out to positive. One port comes out to negative. One end just comes in and wraps around, wraps around, wraps around, and then comes right back out. It's one continuous loop. And through in through the middle of that, we have our iron core. Okay. And then at the very top of this, we actually have a little bit of a framework. And that's about it. Okay. And then up here, we have another, we have a little tab, one of these little doodads, you know, there's one, there's the other one over here, you know, one's behind the other one, can't really see. But this one will come up and this will connect to a contact, a metal contact point. Now, up here, you have a second contact point which is connected to this one via a wire and hinged right here okay this will actually stand up a little bit further this is not touching that and then when this becomes magnetized it pulls that down and connects these two points right there so if it's clicking this is working it's pulling that in so I'm not getting connection in between there and there. So generally all I need to do is take a piece of sandpaper and rub it between these contact points with the contact points closed and that'll clean up the surfaces because they get corrosion on them, they get arcing and pitting from constantly sparking um, right there. Clean those up and you're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fine sandpaper. Fold it over on itself so I have two gritty sides. And I'm actually going to put it on this particular one. I got a really small spot. I can stick it between the contact points. And then I can apply the pressure. Okay, I've got this set up so when these points actually contact, they beep. So I'll take this and I'll connect it to these points right here, these other two points that are supposed to beep when they connect. And now we will test the entire relay, but now applying power, 
positive and negative to the ports. The switch trigger the switching. That right there, cleaning those little points, just saved myself 60 bucks. I did this the other day on a Volvo for the relay, I had a two part relay, but anyway, um, basic, same basic principles, but that was a $180 relay. There we go. Okay, you guys can see the fan, you can see me plugging the relay. Works great. Another thing is, if your relay is out, um, don't think that you have to buy an original relay. Um, the nice thing about relays is they're electronic and you can replace generic relays for a fraction of the price of good relays or uh, OEM relays. This particular relay right here is like a $50, $60 relay, um, but I don't have to buy it. I can use a generic lighting relay. These are lighting relays usually for big halogen lights on the top of trucks and whatnot. And they usually have about five ports. Sometimes they have four ports, sometimes they have five port, you know. But you can look at the wiring diagrams and you can take one of these. You can take this particular one, uh, figure out the wiring on it, save yourself a ton of money. Fan just fairly kicked off. I saved myself a ton of money. By just knowing what ports go where, my fan just barely kicked on. This relay right here, I can just tuck it under there. I can just put it back under the original cover somehow. I can just leave the cover off. And this relay right here, as long as my wire is heavy duty enough, and, you know, I think, you know, this is a good heavy duty 30 amp relay. I think my, this one's only a 20 amp, but this would run just as long as that would. And these are 10 to $15 at any, you know, automotive store. And they always have them in stock versus 50 to 60 or even more. So a little bit of know-how, a little bit of wiring. You can take any, any relay because they all have these little spade connectors on there. They all have the exact same spade connectors that these little just wire nut things go. Hey guys, there you go. Hopefully it helps you out. You know, hopefully it gets some use out of it. Hopefully it saves you a buck or two. Um, thanks guys. Leave a comment below. Uh, click the little button up there. Subscribe. You know, give me thumbs up, thumbs down below. Thanks guys. See you soon. Bye.